Hello guys, thank you so much for joining in today. In this video, we are going to be looking at data visualization and again using Java. In the previous video, we looked at how to interact with database from Java application. We looked at various uh, SQL command, including select, update, insert, and delete. This video is going to be a little bit different. Now we're going to move moving towards uh, data visualization. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a basic data visualization using Java. And a couple visualization that we're going to be looking at uh, are going to be a bar chart and scatter plot. Uh, there are other many kinds and many ways to visualize data. For the time being, we're just going to be looking at those two and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to, to visualize data using a library. So we're going to be looking at a Java library called Java FX. So I'm going to show you guys how you guys can go about adding those library and how to use that properly. Um, honestly, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to check out my Git and um, based on that so basically first thing first we have to add a dependencies for that so I'm gonna show you guys where we have to add that and that would be right here on palm XML so there's a quite a lot of things in here and the things that I was talking about the library is You don't need those those are comment this library right here I have 11.0.2 version it's called Java FX dash swing and the library has a a lot of uh, chart and I'm pretty sure that you will find one that will uh, fit your need with that being said let's uh, jump into and look at one of the example here Another thing I do want to briefly touch on is that uh, I also have to add this model.info uh, file um, in order to work with this uh, chart. Uh, for some reason, it was um, requiring me to add all of my dependency in this model, but it's really simple to do that. You can just add that in model.info.java file, very simple. So uh, let's uh, straight ju jump straight into this one. First thing we're going to start out with is a bar chart so bar chart uh, is it's more like a histogram uh, if you have work with um, and it's it's pretty easy and pretty quick to, to create a nice looking histogram using a using Java Java FX library so let's go let's jump into here so this is basically um, a hash map I have here with the string and then value and um, it's nothing but a few countries and its population. So these are the countries with most population uh, in the world. And I added um, Nepal in the list. Um, it doesn't have much population. I just wanted to add that in the list there. And then I also added a link where I got those uh, a number from. So um, you, I, I don't know if it's correct or not, but this is where I got those from. I think it, these are those are correct and basically in order for us to draw this diagram or the, the chart um, there's a couple things we need to do uh, we need to extend application and application is the class provided by JavaFX here and then in your main function you basically call launch and this could be null um, if you have argument you can pass in but in my case there's not going to be any argument. I'm just testing things out and that is going to be null. So when you pass in, uh, what actually happens is it will, it will end up uh, calling the start function. And if you see, this is this is override. That means uh, that start function is part of application class. So basically when we override this, what happens here is that first thing, um, this is a XY chart series. Series is a, a object that will hold the data. So basically what we're doing here, this is our hash map. We are traversing the hash map and 
adding that data uh, to our series xy chart the series and basically it will be get data aid and then uh, you want to this is how you do it x y chart dot data and you have a key and the value again if you know how histogram looks like you also need some axis so we have a category axis that is always going to be uh, mostly going to be x axis and histogram i think is always x axis and the number axis which is going to hold population that is y-axis here and then again we have to initialize bar chart and we we are mentioning that string and number this is a generic uh, class so um, that means x-axis is, is a string and then the y-axis is number and if we look at our data you know uh, country's name and population those are string and uh, string and number basically so and in this bar chart constructor you pass in x-axis y-axis and then again this is another um, setter you basically on that bar chart you're adding the series and then if you remember the series we have already added our data to it and then you need to create a scene and scene is almost like a window and you also pass in a, a width here a length and width i believe these are two argument and then you pass in the, the chart you created and at the end you just basically Again, stage is if you remember, it is a a type uh, object that was passed in the start function. So that, that that is handled by application itself. So when that happens, you set your scene to that stage, and at the end, you just uh, call so, and you will be able to see a nice looking uh, uh, what we call bar chart. So let's uh, let's go ahead and run this, and I'll show you guys how it looks like. Here we go, I'm running this. Give it a minute. It is building right now. It's thinking about it. Okay, uh, it's in my another window. I'm gonna pull this up here. This is how it looks like. So we didn't have to do anything. Just call a few function and it always already looking nice. And you can see, um, this is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, we have the China. And India with almost uh, highest population, and then the United States, Pakistan, every everybody else, and then we have Nepal with uh, very few population as compared to these big countries. Anyway, it looks really good, and uh, it was very easy uh, using this library. And in a couple of ways, it would be very useful for us to use this Java FX uh, library for um, chart and, and diagram is because uh, if you are just uh, uh, playing around with number and have some ideas and um, sometimes it's very difficult to plot everything in your mind and, and try to see that relationship between data. It helps so much um, just to put it on the chart and then uh, you might be able to see things that uh, you were not able to see before and some relationship and then the, the stuff like that. So that's, that's, that's the whole point. And then again, you don't have the, this. The chart are built very easily, so you don't have to do put in a lot of work. It's called few function. You have it. Pretty much all you need is data, and then this is very extendable. Um, if you don't like the way it looks, you can pass in CSS file to customize how uh, you want to you want it to look it like look look like. And at the same time, like I said, this is just a bar chart example. There's a pie chart. Uh, there's just so many um, you can I, I'll put a link to Java FX charting documentation and then uh, you'll find it um, this is one of the example I have I'm gonna show you another example another example is scatter plot so in this scatter plot uh, basically I'm plotting um, view few points in the graph um, so what I decided to do uh, I decided to implement this y equal to mx plus c function at a linear equation, right? And my c is 2.5 here, m is 1.75, and then based on um, the xs um, x value I get, I basically create a y value and set it back. This is get y function. Again, let's jump into same same principle, pretty much uh, extending application class, um, you know, main function calling launch, and launch will eventually call start here. It takes a stage. 
we have the X data. I just uh, started from one to 10. And then uh, I pass in get Y data function. Again, get Y data is my Y equal to MX plus C function. It will return a array of um, double, which are gonna be, which is gonna be my Y data. And then again, series, you probably remember for earlier, we always add uh, data to the series here. Uh, and then axis, X axis, Y axis in this case, both of them are uh, going to be number because we are plotting y equal to mx plus c uh, scatter chart before we had bar chart uh, this is different this is scatter chart i'm setting animation false here uh, i'll tell you why because i there's another thing you could do with uh, java fx is that you can also save this um, bar chart as an image um, in your computer uh, and this is uh, this example I'm particularly showing you guys how to do it and again um, I have uh, added those uh, series on my scatter chart uh, created a scene out of a scatter chart and set that scene to the stage and at the end I'm just basically um, again a scatter chart has this snapshot function I think almost all of the chart and that Java FX provides has this snapshot function and they will basically um, send returns writable image and then when you have that with a few line of call of image io uh, you will be able to save that image i'm just uh, passing here file name called scatterchart.png and then this will be that image when i run this will save somewhere in here so let's go ahead and run this one and i'll show you guys uh, how easy it is to create a chart and um, like i said you could build really complex one I'm just showing you some uh, easy uh, and small example. You can make it very complex and um, you could also, like I said, use CSS just like you would do in website to, to change the color if you don't like the default one. So let's go ahead and run this one and I'll show you guys uh, the image that is uh, generated here. Just thinking about it. Let me go ahead and turn on. I just completed. Um, I don't know yet. Okay, I think it is completed. Sure, sure does. Here we go. We got the scatter chart. So it is y equal to mx plus c. So you see that straight line there. So beautiful. So I don't have to do much. Uh, we're just providing um, some data. It will uh, uh, show some nice uh, chart. So that's that's it for this video. And like I said, be sure, sure, be sure to check out the Java FX uh, documentation. They have lots and lots of uh, chart, um, including um, pie chart. And then the one I like most is line line chart um, because um, I, I was able to take Excel file and plot it a really nice looking uh, chart. Although I did uh, use some CSS to make it um, look, um, make it uh, look like the way I want it. So I didn't include it here. So that would be a, a little bit longer videos. But in this video, um, I just wanted to show you guys um, uh, how to do data visualization using Java uh, very easily using library. Uh, if you liking this video, please uh, make sure to subscribe. And um, if you enjoy it, um, I don't mind if you hit that uh, thumbs up button and that will, that will help me uh, and motivate me to create more videos. That's it for this video. Next, in the next video, we're going to be jumping into linear algebra, and uh, I'm going to start looking at uh, some. Uh, we're going to start looking at some bet, uh, vectors and matrices. So, um, if um, I'm very excited, uh, I, and I'll see you guys in this in the next video.